Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to carry on with our code and we're going to add a map screen. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed and hit the notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, a massive thank you to all of my patrons and subscribers. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. If you'd like to support the channel and encourage me to keep making these tutorial videos, then feel free to visit the Patreon link in the description below or become a member of this channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's get started then. So what I've got is I've created some images which are um, basically PNG files for specific rooms and uh, one for each room in our current house. Uh, I've got a background image, which looks like a blueprint like that. And then I've got an icon like that as well. So what we need to do is, the first thing we need to do is actually build our screen. So in our screens folder, we're going to create a new file and we're gonna call this one map.rpy like that and then we're going to create a screen and we're going to call it map like that so before we do anything else we need to add our background so we're going to add and then in our images folder we've got a folder called ui and then a folder called map and then we've got map bg dot jpeg like that and then we can simply just quickly bring up that folder and check that that is correct map bg.jpg is correct now what we need to do is we need to create an image button for our map icon which is going to sit in the top left hand corner which will close the map and return us to our original location should the person want to change their mind so we need to go image button XPARS is going to be about 25. YPARS is going to be about 100 because it needs to hover below our toolbar when the map screen is closed. We need to add a hover image and we need to add a idle image. And they're both going to be the same. And all we're going to do is we're going to copy this file path from here. And then we're going to change this to map-icon.png. And we're going to check that we've got that correct. Map-icon.png. Great. Copy that. And we're going to paste it there. And then last, we need to see to add action. And then we're going to set variable which you remember from our previous uh, uh, tutorial, click type, and we're gonna set that variable to map cancel, like that. And all that means is that when we bring up our map screen, we can check whether the click type is map select or map cancel and if it's map cancel then we can just ignore whatever happens and close the map screen and we're just going to say return none because we don't need anything to be returned the next thing we need to do is to add our map buttons in and we don't want to do each individual one because that would be very frustrating so what we want to do is say for q in rooms and then we want to say if q dot is active or is unlocked. Let me just double check in our classes. So we actually need to use the unlocked. So we can just pop that on there. If q unlocked, add temp name. And we're going to say temp name. And we need to make sure that this is in rempy code equals and the first thing we want to do is say ui slash maps or map sorry that's the folder and then we want to say map 
underscore like that and then we want to say q dot name and we need to put a plus there and then we want to put a plus there and then we just want to put dot png at the end now if you'll look i have named all of these icons map underscore and then the name of the room and i've made sure that they are exactly identical case wise because we don't need to remove the spaces from this particular usage because we're doing it in quotes we can have them identical so that will simply do that and this is just going to show the map for now we're going to turn this into image buttons momentarily but we just want to check that the map actually works first we just go into our top bar and outside of this frame what we want to do is add our icon and all we're going to do is copy our code from here and i think we'll put it before the code just to make life easier so there we go and then all we're going to say is change our click type to map open with a capital o come back into our script like this and we need to add a new if statement if click type map open then we want to call and we're going to create a new label for this and we're just going to call this map nav nice and easy so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new label inside a new file <laughs> so we don't need the screens open for this one what we do want to do is inside our scripts outside the initialize folder we're going to create a new file and we're just going to call this mapnav.rpy then a new label called mapnav is say if click equals map close let's do this that's actually supposed to be map cancel return and what we need to do is from our script we're going to say this and we're just going to use ui return again like this ui return and then all we're going to do is change this to say map and just check that we've got the correct name there yep that's what it is map so it will return all of the same things but if we what we're saying is if click type equals map cancel then return so just return straight out of this which will close that screen and do nothing else however if type equals map select like that then location adding a pound sign at the start of that is going to be equal to ui return and then return there so we've got our map open button in our top bar is we've got our <laughs> huge icon here which takes us into nothing but we have got the wrong label there anyway so we can quit out of that like so so we come into our script and the first thing we need to do is reduce that to a small um, there so now that we've fixed the size of that icon you can see it just sits there in the top left hand corner and as we click on it it simply opens and closes our map screen like so so we can add a focus mask to this button as well which is simple focus underscore mask true and all that does is it means that you will not get the action by clicking on uh, invisible pixels it'll only work if you click on the icon itself so what we need to do now is we need to turn our map into something more useful so we need to change this so we're going to change that to an image button like so and then we're going to say idle and we're going to say hover and these are going to be our image names so idle it's going to be temp name and the hover is also going to be temp name like that now we need to add focus mask is true to this as well 
so that you don't get it from clicking on everything else. That's obviously meant to be a small F and we're going to actually copy that and we're going to stick it into our map button as well. And then action needs to be to set variable. Click type and we need to turn that to map select and we want to return q dot name and obviously we need to put that into brackets as well like that and then hopefully we should be able to run that without any problems so we're going to start we click on our map icon we click on kitchen we go to the kitchen click on hallway we go to the hallway click on bedroom we go to the bedroom now obviously if this were a real house you wouldn't have rooms scattered like this they'd be joined together so you could consider that when you build your own map however for the purposes of this demonstration it's fine so theoretically now we could actually remove the locations move menu from this section of the game so we could actually go to this and where it says move UI we could actually theoretically now remove that completely so that it's no longer there so if we were to go back in and run our script again we hit start now it's gone so you've still got you've got the map instead so that that will allow you to and let's just check that this works so we're going to add some new rooms add a basement add a living room add a bathroom come to our map that's looking a little bit more healthy so yeah if we want to go to these different rooms we can just click on the appropriate room in our map and that's about it for this video chaps i hope see you in the next one thanks very much for watching smash like bye bye